What's going on guys, it's Ali, welcome to the part 12 on my 3D printed 8 scale Toyota Supra. In today's video, we will be installing the electronics, this is the brain of the car, so we can power up all the servos and the engine glow plugs. I have here the coil for the glow plug and the ESC for powering up the receiver, and I made it all one Dean's plug like this. I started up with one 3S battery before, so I hope it's gonna start again. I'm not gonna have any problem with powering up all these servos. I have here this battery here, so I think it's gonna start up and not gonna have any problems. And then we have the exhaust. I designed the exhaust as well, but I had to change the rear bumper so I can mount this on the bumper. I'm not gonna be used any glue or something and here's the exhaust manifold so this one is temporary we don't use that that much because it will melt for sure and it's a resin printed I I hope it can last a bit but after I make sure everything works good I'm gonna design a whole exhaust and then metal 3d printed but for now I think it looks cool and it's gonna slide on the engine just like this and it looks very realistic like this and then we have the hinges for the door and the trunk i also designed the spoiler and we're gonna put it on and also the doors so we'll see after putting up all the wires these hoses here so we can put the hose from here to the exhaust uh, we can also manipulate it and then i have to organize all these wires so we can know whatever goes to where this video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is offering 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. You just have to put the file and it will tell you the price and shipping date. PCBWay is linked in the video description box below for more information. Thanks for PCBWay for sponsoring this video. This video also brought to you by these Patreon members. The drive shaft here is temporary and also 3D printed, but it's 28 millimeters but we're gonna have to find another one because i resin print this one it's just for testing we're gonna have to find a drive shaft like this because this one not gonna hold for sure because right now i can see it's been twisted have any drive shaft like this in mind if you have a link that close to 28 millimeters let me know in a comment section below. I have these, so I'm gonna cut these and measure it out 28 millimeter and then weld it again. I took them from the front because this is a rear wheel drive, so we don't need this here. But I'm not taking my time for this because some people told me that these transmissions have so many problems, sometimes it breaks, so that's why it has these stiff angle. I didn't work on it. I wanted to change the angle and make it better, but in the future, I'm gonna have to change the transmission. Maybe I will design my own, so I don't know. But this is temporary because some people told me that the torque of the engine breaks these tabs. It's plastic and I saw they have upgraded one. You can buy brass knobs like this, but we will see. But for now, I'm gonna have to manage this and make it this size. All right, we're gonna start with the glow plug wires and startup motor wires and then I'll put the exhaust manifold here. Let's do it, but first I'm gonna have to remove the bumper so we can easily work here.
All right, the gas line exhaust and all these parts are done. Now I'm gonna have to do some management over here. I did with this part, but I'm gonna have to do this so it doesn't bind up with anything. While I'm working on this car, you can check this video out where I unbox it and start up this V2 engine. It's a gasoline engine and the build quality looks pretty awesome. So for now I will leave you guys with this one and I will see you in the next one.